Welcome back everyone, my name is JPEGXJ, but you can call me JPEG, here with another episode of the Steam Challenge, where I play a randomly selected game, you get to vote on which games you want me to make into a series, and we all have a lot of fun. So if you're ready, let's go. Alright guys, the next randomly selected game is... Game Dev Tycoon. Uh, I have played this one before. It is a lot of fun, and I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. It's a very peaceful sort of game to play. If you are brand new, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button if you like this video. That way I know to keep making more videos. So let us jump into Game Dev Tycoon. Alright guys, here we are jumping into Game Dev Tycoon. Now, in this game, you are a um, brand new game development uh, software, or no, not, not software, you're, you're a game development company, and you're in its infancy. Um, you're starting out in your garage, you can see here. So we're going to try to become the business leaders of the market. Now, we do have to compete against um, other developers, other... Uh, well, maybe not other developers. We do have to make sure that we um, appeal to the market and different, different, uh, I guess, markets in the people that buy games. So we're actually just going to name this super boring JPEG XJ Gaming. That's going to be our thing. And we're going to be CEO and such. So here I am. Let's go ahead and go for there. Bam. And a nice little there, sweater vest. Got it. Perfect. No, no hints. Uh, let's do. So I have played it a few times. Um, let's just do this. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So here we are. And the first thing we need to do is develop a new game. So let us go ahead and type this new game. Let's see what genres we have to pick from. Let's do action, the topic, sci-fi, music, prison, superheroes. I guess sci-fi is a pretty safe bet, right? So sci-fi. Let's do alien. Uh, since it's action, it's going to be alien shooter. And the platform is going to be G64 or uh, PC. We're going to go ahead and go PC. Uh, action and PC I think should be a decent match. Uh, and we're going to do text-based or uh, 2D graphics. So as you make these, it, you can add different features to it to make it, uh, like to increase different parts of the game. Like you can upgrade the graphics, upgrade the sound quality. So um, here we have how we're going to actually allocate our time spent on the game itself. And uh, the for an action game, the story and quest should be pretty far down. If you anyone really knows anything about game development and, and playing games, which I'm sure most of you do, um, and we're actually going to develop more on the gameplay, which will appeal to a wider audience and more people will want to purchase it. Um, so as we're developing this, you can see up at the top. Awesome. Okay, now the next part. Um, the dialogue should be low since there should be little to no dialogue in an action game. Uh, and then the AI should actually be pretty high so that it's competent while engaging the player as a non-player character. Or non-playable character? I'm not sure NPC stands for something like that. I hope that's a DeLorean underneath that. Okay, development stage 3. The uh, graphic. I'm going to bump that up. And we've got 2D and basic sounds. Perfect. This is our first game, guys. We should, we're should. we probably going to knock it out of the park. You'll also notice that there are several bugs that get coded into the game as it's being developed. So we, at the end of development, that will go down. And uh, if it's if there's a few bugs, it's, it's okay. I like to be zero, obviously. And we've gained some good, good stuff here going on. All right, beautiful. Let's go ahead and release Alien Shooter. That's the worst name. And let's see how our, our game did. <laughs> Reviews for Alien Shooter. Come on, five. Okay, so apparently someone was not a fan. Come on guys, six. Okay, all right. 
Obviously, the higher scores, the better. But we can't win them all. Seven. This is all over, all across the board. All right, all right, all right. Fine, guys. In the upper right, we do have. Okay, good. Newcomer. A decent start. In the upper right, we will show the sales of the game itself and how many people buy it. So we earn income from that. And we get gain some fans. So we're actually going to generate a game report on Alien Shooter. What that's going to do is go over um, the combinations of genre versus platform versus uh, the um, theme of the game. And that will give us like good insight into, yeah, so here we go. Sci-fi action is a great combination. Engine's really important. Um, PC action is a good match, which is medium. And we're going to develop a new game. Let's see what's the next. Okay, let's do uh, let's do an, a, an adventure game. A music adventure game? Oh, that's the worst. Can I get, can I do another simulation? Simulation. <laughs> We're gonna do a music simulation game on PC nonetheless. This is going to be Note Quest. And we're gonna do that on the PC. No quest, music simulation. I'm so glad I don't develop games because my games probably would not be uh, amazing. I don't know. We sold quite a few um, copies of Alien Shooter. Apparently, people kind of liked it. Second game. Um, where are we at here? Development stage two, four A. Simulation. No story, the engine, and the gameplay have to be pretty important for this, I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive. Positive. There we go. Develop. Go, go, gadget development. Alright, so the next one dialogues, no dialogues. Level design in simulation. I think we should. I think that should be alright. So the different, if obviously if you have a an action game or like an RPG that does not focus on like dialogue or something, that's gonna be bad. Simulation, graphic, sound, world design, shoot. What what should be the best? Note quest. God, that's the worst name. Um World Design, kind of. But sound and graphics should be the main focus, I think. Alien shooters off the market. We made ninety thousand dollars from that. Okay, so here's a little thing that happens. It's little events that happen as you go to kind of help guide your decisions, because you can get licenses for other platforms and stuff as they're developed. Uh, this one's showing me that the the Governor or Commodore. Gosh, if if anyone knows anything about old style. Like old computers, um, like first, second generation computers, and older gaming systems, it, this game will be really kind of funny, uh, humorous, because they do kind of a parody of everything. Um, I do know that the PC and uh, or uh, a personal computer rather is what it's what PC is um, will outshine the Govador G64 eventually. So. We're gonna get those bugs, squash the bugs. Now sometimes if you're not careful, more bugs can be coded into it, so you have to be careful. Note Quest is ready. I've never been more excited about a game than Note Quest. I cannot tell you how excited I am for Note Quest. There we go. And we're releasing the game. Oh my gosh, I hope people love it. First reviews are in. <laughs> Oh no, uninspiring. Hey, I am on the brink. Okay, awesome. And seen better. Okay. Fun at stages. Okay, so it could have been better. Well, it's a music simulation game. What what more do you want? We're going to go ahead and generate a game report so we can get some insight into what themes go with, what genres go with, what platform. So... Eventually, as we go on, we can... Music and simulation is a great combination. Gameplay. Gameplay was really low. 
shoot. Hmm. <laughs> According to rumors, the Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for the widely successful arcade game Dinky King. Oh, so close. It's so, it's so close. So, I keep my eye on the horizon. Uh, let's do some research. I've got 45 research points, as you can see at the top, the blue. We are going to see about researching a new topic, and these are horrible. Oh. Why did it give me such horrible starting options? Oh my gosh. No quests. No quest is d dwindling pretty quick. Let us see if we can not research a new school. Oh, why? These are the worst gaming options. There's nothing I've got right now that will go well with this stuff. I'm never gonna grow JPEG XJ gaming. Uh, development company. It's never gonna happen with with subjects like this. I will eventually be able to add people to my team, and I'll, I'm excited for that. Note quest. We may the TES early next year. The console features cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. By uniquely designed, they mean a rectangle. Hey, it got the job done. You, if you couldn't handle the rectangle, maybe you shouldn't be playing games. We're going to try to develop a new game. Why? Let's do uh, a superhero action on the PC. Let's see. So action is a medium. Let's see if we can't get... Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, superhero adventure? Masked. Naming stuff. Masked superhero adventure game. Superhero adventure game. Um, I'm thinking, what should we call this one? Crusaders? I guess? Crusaders, Crusaders. I think that's spelled correctly. We're gonna do 2D graphics. Eventually, I can. I can. Uh, okay, so for an adventure game, we need the story and quests to be up pretty high. I think that should be a good balance right there. Good. So for an adventure game, we want the dialogues to be up. We want this AI should be decent. Ah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm I'm not actually very confident about this one. Um, I want world design to be good and adventure. Okay, okay. I think we'll be all right. I I'm pretty sure we'll be all right. I'm getting nervous. Gonna loosen my tie. All right. So we got get the bugs out. Squeak a few more things in there. All right. As I level up, I can re I can uh, research new things, which will be awesome. Masked Crusaders. The results are in. It's low. It's so low. Oh my goodness. I have the worst combinations. The worst combinations. While that's going, I need to generate, I need to, well, let's see if we can research something. Let's see if we can research new, okay, racing, perfect. Racing, this is gonna be our break. Uh, okay, so I can do contracts now. They'll let me do contracts. Racing is gonna be where it's at, man. I'm gonna do a racing simulation game on the PC. Develop a new game. Racing time. Worst name. Let's do uh, Wheels of Fury. Perfect. Racing. Bam. Simulation. Bam. PC. Bam. Alright, 2D graphics. That shouldn't be horrible, I don't think. 
Oh, the TES by Ninvento has been released. Okay, so for racing, I know gameplay is very important. Let's keep the engine... Let's keep the engine down. I think we should be alright with this one. I think we should be okay. Alright, so for simulation, this one, level design, artificial intelligence. Oh, crap. Okay, I'm going with my gut. My gut has been wrong before, but we shall see if this is my big break. World design. I think world design is important. It's not giving me any good hints right here. Uh, graphics and world design should be pretty even, I think. From what I know of simulation games, it should be... It should look realistic, or at least be realistic, so... Ugh. Anything else? Good. My my sales are going down, and I'm, I lost a fan. I lost. A fan. I've been losing fans because of the games that I've been making. This is horrible. All right, I'm releasing Wheels of Fury. We're gonna generate a game report while it's doing that. Let's do Mass Crusaders so I can learn about my mistakes. Here's the reviews for Wheels of Fury. Come on. Oh no. Oh my gosh. They hate my games. Wow, everyone hates, not bad, not good, everyone hates my games. I need better topics, I just need better topics. Maybe I will buy a license, how much is a license for the Ninvento TES? Let us find out. Research faster, man. Superheroes and adventure is a terrible combination. I probably, probably could have guessed that, I might have been cyberpunk. What the heck? What is that? Why would... What can I mix cyberpunk with? Cyberpunk action game? You guys like cyberpunk action games? Oh my gosh. Let's see what else we can research right now. Because this is... This is horrible. Vampire! What can vampire? Vampire action. <clears throat> I wonder if I can... Buy a license for Ninvento. The TES. My sales. This is the worst. Okay, vampires. So let's go ahead and let's develop a new game. Uh, we're going to do. We're actually going to. No, I do not have enough to buy a license. Oh my gosh. Maybe vampire will be our. Maybe Vampire will be our big break. I, I don't know at this point. I don't, I don't know. Let's find out. Vampire, what should this one be called? Ugh. Uh, blood is too cliche. Let's do, uh, Shady Knight. Shady Knight. And we're still 2D graphics. I don't know, maybe it's a platformer. So engine's really important. Gameplay, let's go ahead and make sure the engine is up really high. Let's use the hints that we've gotten. Uh, Wheels of Fury, I'm gonna go ahead and generate a game report on this also. Did I just do that in the middle of my game creation? I guess that's not a bad thing, is making a, okay. Dialogues. I didn't have any dialogues in there, but I guess that's good. They're just giving me the tips of what I'm supposed to use. My cash is dwindling. I'm at 55k. Vampire action. Level design. Ah, okay. I, I don't know. I don't know. I really need to get a license for the TES by Ninvento. <sighs> Action. The graphics don't need to be amazing. World design, maybe. Sound, maybe not. Crap. I feel like this one's gonna suck too. I feel like it's gonna just be another terrible game. Squash those bugs, man. 
Oh. I have a horrible feeling about this one. Shady Knight. Release the game. Let's go ahead and get a report. Here are the reviews. Oh my gosh. These are horrible reviews. These are the worst reviews. Oh. Be a four? Oh, three. Be a four? Okay, okay, okay. I'll take a four. I really need a big break. I just need a, a big break. I am I've got no cash. I've got no cash. Vampire in action. Dialogue. Okay. People just aren't people just are not biting. People are not biting. City. I have the worst. Ugh. Let's do a city simulation game on the PC. That might be my big break. I've said that about what? The racing game? The vampire game? Let's try the racing game. Or no, not racing. Let's try the city. That's what I meant. Let's try the city game. <sighs> what is it? City? City, genre, simulation, platform, PC. See, simulation's a great match for PC. What are we calling this? Simulation suburbs. We don't want to be too close to um, <laughs> any other type of mass human dwelling sim. So we'll do 2D graphics. I guess that would be right. It'd be like isometric projection. Gameplay is important. Engine not so much. Right? Engine a little. Right? Okay. So eventually I will be able to focus on specific age groups like... Uh, okay, so there it is. Target audience. It, like everyone, like uh, teen and then like mature. And eventually I'll be able to, once I have a little bit of cash flow, no good, once I have some cash flow I can create a custom game engine which will let me upgrade, oh my gosh, Shady Knight, that vampire game. Eventually I'll be able to upgrade the, um, I think sound is pretty important. Eventually, I'll be able to upgrade the um, the different types of graphics and sounds I have and everything. Okay, so Vina. There's a new player that's going to release their own console, apparently. And these consoles fizz, uh, um, mirror historically kind of the console wars, maybe? Maybe they're not really so much console wars, I don't know. Hooray! Simulation Suburbs. Would you buy a game named Simulation Suburbs? Let me know in the comments if you would buy a game named Simulation Suburbs. If the reviews were this good, maybe you would. Hey, 8! <laughs> Love it. 8! I've finally broken a little bit. Let's get a solid 8, so no. Got a seven. Oh, oh man. Okay, fine. I should do decently. The sales for this game should be decent. Let's go ahead and generate a game report for it. Simulation Suburbs. The Master V. I can't remember which which console that's pretending to be. Okay, so I am selling quite a few copies of that. Simulation Suburbs game. City and Simulation is a great combination. Graphics seems to be very important for this type of game. I probably would have sold more if I had bumped up graphics. I can't remember how I did. Let's do contract work because I really need some money. We're going to debug a program. Now how this works is I the faster I get at generating these little bubbles, the more uh, the, the quicker I can do these types of contracts. So I've got like a few weeks to do this one, easy peasy, made a little bit of cash, word of mouth got around, not too bad. 
let's see about... Oh, I can afford the Ninvento. Um, the TES. Okay, we're going to buy the thing. Let's do a racing game. Let's do a simulation game. Great combo. I know that. No, but I've already done that. So I want to try to I want to try to do something a little bit different. Racing. None of these are none of these are good at all. Sci-fi action. Did I do that already? I think I have. Eventually I can do sequels and I don't want to do any things like that until now. Let's do Spoose and Vooters. I know that was originally... What was that on? Sci-fi action. Okay, Spoose and Vooters. 2D graphics. Let's go, everyone. Maybe I'll make a lot of money. Engine. Bam. Gameplay. Let's do a little gameplay, but mostly the engine. All right, no dialogues, level design. Good. We might be in good shape for this one. Simulation Suburbs. I almost did a 200k. That's not too bad. Not too shabby. The Master V will be terrible. So action. I need... What would go for action, though? World design? Maybe. Huh. This is really, this is gonna, this is gonna make or break it. Um, sound, maybe not so much. Graphic? I'm going out on a limb here. Oh man, graphics maybe not. The sound might be more important, but we will find out in a moment. I'm not looking forward to this one. New console license that I just bought. And if it bombs, I might just have to close shop. Master V has released their console. Alright, but let's see how... Spoos and Vooters! Come on, give me a high score. Okay, so good. People kind of liked it. Pretty... Okay, so good. Game. Thank you, Game Hero. Okay. Let's see how well those sell. Let's get a good game report for Spoos and Vooters. game report all right I really need to invest okay so that's fine action in the TES I really need to research some more topics dungeon what the heck okay let's get some new topics going this is insane this is terrible okay guys well with the release of that game I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here um, if you like this video, please hit that like button, and if you're brand new again, please subscribe. But this is, uh, this is Game Dev Tycoon, and it will be available, there's a link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. A lot of fun, I've played it through a few times, the replay value is amazing, uh, and you get to be so creative with it, and the, the graphics are nice, the sounds are nice, and the, uh, um, the game is just a lot of fun. So. Thank you guys for watching. My name is JPEGXJ. This has been the Steam Challenge, and we'll see you next time.